Welcome back to my channel. This is Kimmy here, and today we're going to be reviewing an Amazon wig. Now, it's supposed to be a glueless, which means it's supposed to be wear and go. Fresh at the pack, throw it on, and you do it with no glue. We're going to see. This is my, well, my second glueless wig, but this is actually the glueless wig here that I got on. And I didn't do too much to it, just put on some melting spray, and then I tinted it, like changed the color. Because I don't have that much experience with glueless wigs, but let's just get right into this one. Now, I bought this from on Amazon from a storefront called Pink Eagle, and I think I paid like $69 for it. Just it's a 20 inch 13 by 4 transparent percent human hair, yada yada yada, and it comes with a wig cap. And this is what the packaging looks like. So we're going out and see what it's giving. It comes with a wig cap, as I mentioned. And it looks like it comes with a resistant band. Melt, melt your lace, but I got one of my own. But we're going to use theirs for the sake of the review. I already got a wig cap on, so to make it easier, I'm not going to open up that wig cap and all that good stuff. And this is what the wig looks like. Might have to flat out it if you want it bone straight, but right now we just want to do it straight out the pack and see what it looks like. Now this one seems like it looks better than the one I got on my head. I didn't even do baby hairs on this because I don't know how. Just made it now. Yeah, mine looks pretty good. It's already cut. And this is what it looks like. It looks pretty good to me. Look like it's been plucked too in some areas. You don't see it, don't see it. I'm gonna go ahead and put some tint on here because I'm not gonna use all my makeup. This might get messy. It smells good. Just tint it, change the color to match me. But I'm gonna take this off because, yeah. And, yeah. and it has a little band on the inside that you just snap to the back and you'll see just give me a second kind of like this band and put it right next to your neck and then just pull the whole wig over i'll put you over there for right now and i put a little put this on here i need to put some more to be honest with you I'm so extra. Just try to make sure you want to make sure everything blends. I'm going to ahead and snip this to the back. Oof. Oh my head itch. I can't really tell. You. Hold on. If I scoot it back soon, it's all up on my eyebrows. did pretty good when it comes to blending it in like the scalp part isn't white because I don't like that I'm gonna put my glasses on for this I'm sorry I can't see <laughs> then I guess you can since it's 13 by 4 I guess you can like part it anywhere I am not weak savvy I can't see Jack I should put my ring light like Right in front of me. You can't really see. It ain't too much uh, going on. And this don't seem like no 20 inch. This is giving, damn I me mean, 16. <sighs> so it don't seem like it's true to length. So I don't know. Shading a little bit. I'll put some um, lace. Uh, and lace stuff on here. Who is that? I'm just spraying it around the base, trying to melt this lace. It's not 
Middleton like I wanted to. See how this part just keep lifting up? And I'm gonna put this band on, maybe that'll help it. Let's use a band. If it helps blend it and take my glasses off because I want to make sure it get all up in the corners and on the side. Like I'm not even going to cap. It don't seem like it's true to that because it's supposed to be 20 inches and it seems like it's giving 16, 18. Let's turn around. I'll let y'all be the judge. Cause usually when I have a 20 inch, it's in the middle of my back. This is like. Dang near shoulder length. And usually a 20 inch will come down here. Like, I'm not trying to fix it. But it comes like to the nipple area when I have it over my shoulder. And that's where it's stopping. It's not really throw on and go friendly. You have to melt it. I think that's basically almost every wear and go wig though. It's not really 100% throw it on and go unless you like a little lace showing and discoloration. All right guys, so it's been about five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and take this band off and see what it done did, if it done did anything. I'm scared. <laughs> okay, I'm like, if this thing on. Oh, it blended pretty good. It blended pretty good. What about this side, though? This side was trying to take me up through there. Mm-mm, not really. I guess do what I do best, hide it. <laughs> Just hide it. Now, Last resort, put makeup on it. Let's see if makeup will do it justice. Oh, I can't see. I'm trying to find it. Hmm? Probably getting somewhere with the makeup. Let's see, hold on. I get too excited. You know what I need? I probably need my mirror. Give me a second. I needed my mirror for this. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm gonna need a little somewhere. Where's my um? Let's see if I can get a part up in here somewhere. Let's try the side part. Huh? I see the side part. I may have to um put some heat on it, get my hot my hot tone. I got a wax stick. Cause it look like it's gonna just flop all over the place. Jesus. See how it's just fluffing up? It's cute in a way, but I wish it would lay a lot less for me. Wax stick. Okay. In the back. It's lifting, lifting, lifting. Okay, guys. I may have to put a little makeup on the part area and hot comb it. So let's do the makeup part first because my hot comb is in the bathroom. In my way. Nope. Yeah. Better help me. Put a little makeup on the brush. Let's see if I can get my part to find a little bit better. You can see it a little more, hopefully. But I'm gonna go get my hot comb and I'll be right back. 
Okay, I'm gonna have comb. Let me turn it on. I kind of caught a glimpse of myself in the mirror in the bathroom when I was getting this. I like it. Even though it ain't really long, it's like some pieces are like, I don't know, it is kind of thin too, but it's gonna do for now. It's gonna have to, I already paid for it. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to flatten this, lay this side down, cause it's a little poofy. A little poofy. I'm gonna try to flat on it later, I think. I'm just trying to flatten it right now. Look like it laid it down better than what it was doing. Except this little part right here. I don't know what this look. What's up with that? See, that's what happens when you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I'll be wearing weaves, don't get me wrong, but. And I install them, but. It, that don't mean I know what I'm doing. We can just grow together, y'all. People that be out here wearing wigs, school me. Because even though I don't know what I be doing, I'm still going to wear them. Because practice makes perfect, right? But yeah, it looked like it done laid down some. Why is this part crunchy? Ooh, see, I should have got my mirror out sooner. Why I see my lace? See my lace, y'all. Well, it's free. Do I need to tint it or do I need to melt it? Oh no. Ooh, look like I need to do both here. I don't know what to do. It's like you can walk right up on me and see my lace. I guess that's what the baby hairs come in at. Something I'm trying to avoid doing because I don't know how to freaking do. It don't look bad. Hold on. What do I say that? See if I can do something. I ain't got to cut no edges, but I can like brush some down. No. No, baby. <laughs> Let me see, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, y'all. I hear you screaming, I hear you screaming, hold on. I mean, it don't look bad. Like, kind of grab some hair without cutting it? Because I'm not good at cutting edges. I can, like, brush this over. Okay. I'm like, that hair want to stay a bit. See, this is too much. This is too much. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm trying to nigger this thing up. Can y'all see, see how bad that look? I tried. This one, y'all. I don't know. Maybe that's the cap. I can like see the cap. Hold on. Y'all can't see. Hold on. I'm gonna zoom it in. You see how the cap? You can kind of see the cap up under there. That irking me. Like I want to take the cap off. I just zoomed in like that. It look bad. Put my glasses on. Okay, let me zoom out. Y'all all up in my face, and I'm looking at my <laughs> So yeah guys, that is me attempting to do my first glueless wig install, drawn, whatever you want to call it. Strong emphasis on attempt. Hey, I don't know nothing about blending no hair. I don't know nothing about blending no lace, none of that. The information about this wig, if you want to know, Okay, so this is a pink, this is from Peak Eagle. I'm gonna leave it down below. It's 180 density. 
Mm, I don't know too much about thickness and all that other good stuff. That could be true. 20 inches on me, no. Comes with the elastic band, 13 by four, which is true, it's ear to ear. The other one I had was a four by four and it was like right here. But yeah, 4.4 and this is supposed to be the 20 inch. It was the cheapest one I had, $69. Because I don't believe in spending a whole lot of money on glueless wigs tiktok shop has a lot of glueless wigs but i'm not trying to spend three hundred dollars 298.65 for one wig like call me cheap call me whatever but i think you can look just as nice in a cheaper wig but you do get what you pay for because this thing is not true to length and it seems like it's a little thin to me but it'll do for what i need it to do i don't go nowhere no way so it's, it's straight for me glueless is it really 100% glueless? I didn't have to use glue. So I'll say that part is true, but when it comes to throwing it on, wear and go, mm -mm, you're gonna have to put some color on it. Like your your skin con uh, tone, if you want a side part or any type of part, how puffy the hair stands up on top of your head, you're gonna need a wax stick, a high comb, something to lay that down. You can't just throw it on and go. So that part is that is not true. I think that's what any in every wig you have to do a little tweaking to it. But other than that, I kind of like the little wig. I just need to practice my edges, as you can see. But yeah, other than that, I think this wig I give it about a like eight out of ten. It's a lost a point for the length. It lost a point for the wear and go. Oh. 7 out of 10 and lost a point for the thickness because thank y'all for chilling with me. Thank y'all for watching me get through this. Please leave a like if you like the video. Comment and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it and until next time I'll see y'all later.